Step 2. One photon wave packet. How many photons are there in a multimode number state? It is a very simple question, so let's answer it quickly. This is our multimode number state given by n1 photons in mode 1, n2 photons in mode 2, and so on and so forth. So the number of photons is just the sum of n1 plus n2 and so on. Can you think of a quantum operator that uh, represents a number operator for this case? It's the following. n hat is equal to sum of individual number operators for every mode m. So let's test that this works. Let's apply our multimode number operator to the multimode number state, written as this, the sum of uh, am dagger, am, the number operator for individual mode m. This operator, every uh, one of these individual uh, mode operators acts only on its corresponding mode. Therefore, it pulls out that particular nm outside of the cat, giving us the following sum, which is exactly what we were looking for. Now, we have to be careful when we consider the number states in the multi-mode case for the following reason. We have seen for single modes that a number state is the eigenstate of the Hamiltonian and the number operator. And this statement is true for the multi-mode case as well. However, this other statement, here is what we mean. Uh, n hat applied to the number state is given just by the sum of individual n's for every mode and the Hamiltonian, the total Hamiltonian of the radiation field applied to the number state is given by the sum of the individual eigenvalues, the individual energies for every mode m times the number state. This following statement, however, is more tricky. Eigenstates of number operators are not always eigenstates of the Hamiltonian, meaning that there are eigenstates which if we plug in here, in the first eigenvalue equation, we will obtain some eigenvalue. But if we use those states to plug into the second equation, then it will not be an eigenvalue equation anymore. Let's see an example of that. Consider the following superposition of number states. We've got two modes, and we uh, say that the state psi is given by an equal superposition of having one photon in mode one, and one photon in mode two, while the other modes are zero. We're going to simplify the notation a little bit by writing this first term, one photon in mode one and vacuum in mode two, just by writing it as ket uh, one in mode one, meaning that implicitly we're implying that the other modes, however many there are, are in vacuum. So we've got the superposition of number states. Let's see what is the eigenvalue when we uh, substitute it into this equation. When we apply the multimode number operator to this state, we see that counting the number of photons in this first term is just one plus zero. So one appears there. Also for the second term in the superposition, we've got zero plus one. So also we're multiplying this term by one. So immediately we see that the state psi is an eigenstate of the number operator with eigenvalue one. Now, let's substitute it into our other eigenvalue equation for the energy. We've got a total Hamiltonian acting on state psi is the following. It's h bar over square root of two. Then we've got one plus one over two. This one comes because both terms contain a single photon, but then we've got this superposition, we've got omega one times the first term, one photon in mode one, plus omega two times uh, the one photon state in the second mode. So unless these uh, two different modes are of the same frequency, this state on the right hand side is not the same state as psi. In other words, this state psi is not an eigenstate of the total Hamiltonian. Now, here's a definition what we mean by a one photon state. A one photon state is a state that is the eigenstate of the number operator with eigenvalue one. Here are some examples. We have seen that if we have uh, one photon in one of the modes and vacuum in the other ones, then its eigenvalue is one. 
Therefore, this is a one photon state. We have also seen that we can take some superposition uh, of having one photon in one mode and another photon in another mode. This was our state psi uh, in the previous slide. But we can write down a more general expression where we have m modes and we take the superposition over all states where we have exactly one photon in the one mode and we weigh it by some probability amplitudes given by this CM, provided that the sum over the modulus squared of the CM is equal to one, so the state is properly formalized. An example that is not a one photon state is the following, where we have a superposition of the vacuum of the whole multimode field plus one photon in mode one. You can check it by yourself that if you apply the number operator to this state, you will not obtain one times this state. In other words, it's not an eigenstate of the uh, number operator with eigenvalue one. Let's do a quick check. We start with our general one photon state, which we just write as ket one, but really what we mean, it's a whole sum over all the modes where each mode has one uh, a photon in them. And let's apply our number operator to this state. What we get is a double summation. We've got the sum over all the number operators for individual modes, and then we've got the sum of, uh, um, representing our one photon state, which is in a superposition of one photon states. We can change the sum, so we bring this sum onto the left side and we bring this sum in here and we let these number operators act on our one photon states. What's going to happen is that when AM is acting on a state in the superposition where there is a zero in mode M, it's going to give a zero, it's going to cancel. However, it's going to act, uh, if it acts on a term where there is a one photon in the mode M, then it's going to pick up eigenvalue one. So that reduces the sum to a sum over a single index n, and we can write cn times the number operator of mode n times uh, one photon state in mode n. And we know what's the eigenvalue of that state, it's one, therefore we obtain the following, we obtain our initial state back. So we see that this state, that one photon state, is really an eigenstate of the number operator with eigenvalue one. Let's compute the single de detection signal for one photon wave packet. We follow the same procedure, but to make the notation a little bit simpler, we're going to assume the detector sensitivity varies slowly with the frequency. If you recall in the previous step, we have mentioned that this is not generally true, and we have to make sure that uh, we represent the sensitivity of the detector as a dependent, fu as a dependent function on the frequency omega m. But we're not going to worry about that now, and we're going to simplify things just by multiplying the whole modulus squared by a single factor s. And then we have to compute the following modulus squared, where we apply the multimode positive frequency uh, component of the electric field onto our time-dependent one photon state. So we write out the sum for the E+, plus, and we write out the sum for the one photon state. Here we're also picking up the complex uh, um, uh, exponential, representing the time evolution of each individual mode. Again, we do the same trick where we exchange the summation. We let the annihilation operator AM act on the states 1N. That's going to annihilate most of them except for the states where we have one photon in the mode M. Therefore, we obtain um, a summation over a single index and we know how the annihilation operator acts on single photon states. It brings them down to the vacuum. So our expression factorizes to a sum over these complex factors, given inside the parentheses over here, times the multimode vacuum. So really this modulus square just becomes a simple uh, exercise in, in using complex and manipulating complex numbers, and we obtain that the modulus squared of this sum of complex numbers over here determines our uh, function w1, the single detection signal. And we know what this sum is. It's just the classical positive frequency component of the multimode field E+. In other words, we can say that this 
sum represents the wave function of a one-photon wave packet.